Day by Day, arranged by John Benke, for three to five octaves handbells, level two. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Responsive Prayer 1 for um, Lutheran Service Book, page 298. Page 282. Holy God, holy and most gracious Father, have mercy and hear us. I cry to you, O Lord. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me with a willing spirit. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all ends of the earth and the farthest seas. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Our first reading is from Psalm 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work. At the works of your hands I sing for joy. How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. The stupid man cannot know. The fool cannot understand this, that though the wicked sprout like grass and all evildoers flourish, 
They are doomed to destruction forever. But you, O Lord, are on high forever. Our second reading is from Genesis chapter 2. And on the seventh day God finished his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. Our devotional reading is from Portals of Prayer for Monday, September 7th. And Jesus said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Mark chapter 2, free from work. It's Labor Day. For many, it's the last hurrah of summer. As we move from weekend mode to work mode, it takes a little time to regain our momentum. We work for many reasons, to provide for our families, to give focus and meaning to our lives, and because of sin. God said we would live by the sweat of our brow. When God finished his work of creation, he rested on the seventh day. The Sabbath was given to remember his work of creation. If you've ever been to Jerusalem on the Sabbath, you have heard a warning sound given just before sundown. Shops close, public transportation shuts down, and people scurry home in preparation for the Sabbath. All work is finished before the Sabbath begins. The Jewish people by Jesus' day had gone well beyond the cessation of work to create a huge set of dicta, rules and guidelines as to what you could and could not do on the Sabbath. Jesus had several confrontations with the Pharisees and Sadducees over who had the authority to set these in place. He resolved the matter directly when he said the Sabbath was made for us. Rest. Rest from physical labor and greater still rest from trying to earn wages sufficient to get us to heaven. O Lord, remind us of your free saving grace today. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant to us your humble servants, your holy inspiration that we may set our minds on the things that are right, and by your merciful guiding accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for daily prayer. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning again at 7 a.m.